Hello, what's up? Welcome back to our corner. And today we are diving into something special for all the PS1 enthusiasts and emulator fans out there. And that is how to port your PS1 save files from other emulators to your PS3 and continue those precious save files seamlessly. So if you are like me who can't move on from the golden age of gaming, which is the fifth and the sixth generation, most probably you still love playing PS1 games on different emulators. And being able to port them and continue your games on the PS3 is really something that you don't want to miss. And to those who are not yet aware, all PS3, any version, any models can play PS1 games. So if you have some files scattered to different emulators, you can actually continue them on your PS3 and I will show you how on this video. In this video, I will guide you through the entire process how to transfer your PS1 games from other emulators like EPSXE or DuckStation. And more importantly, how to continue those save files without missing a bit. So whether you're a nostalgic gamer wanting to relieve those epic moments or a new player discovering PS1 Classic for the first time, this guide is definitely for you. So let us jump into the video and welcome those old PS1 games to your PS3. On this video, we'll focus on porting files to PS3. But we actually have a more comprehensive video on how to port and convert different PS1 save files, even from the PS1 itself, to different emulators. You can go ahead and check our description if you need a more in-depth guide. And for the emulators, we are going to use save files from the PS Vita PS1 emulator and DuckStation. But you can actually use this on any PS1 emulators. All you have to do is locate the save file from that emulator. Next, we are going to need a memory card Rex, which is a PS1 save file converter. You can find the link on our description, so just open the link and click on this part to download. After downloading, just extract the file in its folder, open the folder, and run the application. On this video, we are going to use the game Monster Rancher 2 and we are going to continue our save file from the PS Vita and the Dock Station. So like what we have mentioned earlier, any emulators will work. All you have to do is just locate the save file. I have already located the save file from my PS Vita. Now just go ahead and drag and drop the memory card image file on this part. And this application will load the save files in that image files. Now for the dock station, the save file is located in the documents, then memory cards. Now go ahead and drag and drop this on this area. So we have here two memory cards, one from the PS Vita and one from the dock station. Now what we are going to do is we are going to port the data number one from the PS Vita and the data number two from the dock station. Now let us go ahead and go to our PS3. On the PS3, we have to create a memory card image files. So go to the memory card utility, create new internal memory card, and choose PS or PS1. You can go ahead and rename the memory card, but let us go ahead and rename this so that we can recognize which file we are working on. Let us name this Camlon Corner. Then OK. Now, before we can use this, we have to assign this to any of the slot. Press triangle, assign slots, then choose slot 1. Now, if we are going to test this one, let us go ahead and load our Monster Rancher 2. Now, if we try to load again, of course, there are no files because we have just created this memory card. Now, the next thing that we have to do is locate the image file of our PS3 and load it to our memory card Rex. It is so much easier to do this over an FTP. And on this video, we are going to use FileZilla. You can find the link on our description, so just download and run the application. And to connect our PS3 to the FTP, just connect it to your router along with your PC. If you have a webman installed, you can go ahead and press the Select and Start button at the same time. And you should be able to see this. You should see an address on the IP. Now let us go to our PC, open the FileZilla, click on this part, and enter the address of your PS3 here. Click Connect. 
and to locate the image file of our PS1, go to dev hdd0, save data, VMC, and these are the image of our memory cards. So these are the save files that we have just created. Now what we need to do here is we need to copy this file. I'll just go ahead and copy this on the same folder where my PS Vita save file is located. Now let us go ahead and drag and drop this file on this area. So this is the save file that our PS3 will recognize. Now we can go ahead and transfer any save file to our PS3. Let's go ahead and choose the one from our PS Vita. Copy the data number one, choose a slot here, then paste. Now let us go to the memory card from our dock station. Let us choose the data number two. Copy or control C. Back to our PS3 memory card. Choose a memory card slot, then paste. Now we can go ahead and save uh, this memory card slot. So go to the file, then save. Next, we can go ahead and delete the memory card from the PS3. And transfer this, the one that has the files from our PS Vita and dock station. Now let us go back to our PS3. On the PS3, make sure that our memory card is inserted to a slot. Now let us go ahead and load our Monster Rancher 2. Now, if we try to load the game, our save files are already here. The data number one came from our PS Vita and the data number two from our dock station. Let's go ahead and load the one from our dock station. So there you go. Using this, you will be able to load any of your PS1 save files from any of the emulators and play them on your PS3. I don't know if it's just me, but it always feels right to play PlayStation games on any PlayStation consoles. Alright, so this will be it for now. If you have any questions or suggestions, please go ahead and share them on our comment section and I will gladly address them. And again, my name is Ali. If you find this video helpful, please go ahead and like and subscribe. And I will definitely see you on our next video. Bye-bye.